All right, hey guys, what's up? It's uh, 99 again, back with you uh, with some more Beat Basics. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to sample from a, uh, a song in your iTunes library using BeatMaker 2 on the iPad. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so here we are on our iPad. What you're gonna wanna do is open up BeatMaker or BeatMaker 2. Uh, load up a new project. Select your drum machine and X out of the load preset. And now you have your empty drum machine. Go ahead and open it. Now once you go, once you get to your empty drum machine, it's empty right there, go ahead and hit the home button right here. And the home button is gonna give you this dialog. What you wanna do is hit the, um, the one that looks like an iPad, or not an iPad, an iPhone with an iMac next to it. And it takes you to the sharing dialog. From the sharing dialog, you just go to iPod import and it brings up the iPod import interface. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you can go to artists, albums, genres, songs, compilations, playlists, and uh, you can select the songs from there. What you, wanna, what you can do is create a whole playlist of songs that you consider sampling. But today I'm just gonna go to artists. I'm gonna select an artist I know has a royalty free song in it. And that is the Dawn Patrol. And if you want to preview the song, you can just tap on the actual name of the song. It highlights blue, and you get the song information over here. And you can hit play, and it'll play it for you. Okay, so I'm going to stop that. What I want to do is actually import it, though. So I'm going to tap this square over here, the import button, and then uh, hit import songs. Now from there, you can choose where you want that to actually... Uh, save to in your file structure. So I'm just gonna put it in the root menu. You can create your own folder using the edit files button. But right now I'm just gonna put it here in the root folder. We hit save and it's gonna import. It's fairly fast. And now you have it imported. Okay, so now that we have it imported, what we're gonna do is go to the uh, sample tab, that's the waveform right there, and uh, load the file. You just click load. You can find it in my content. And here it is right here. That's where I saved it. It's called Space Rock. I'm going to autoplay it. Oh, my mistake. Okay, so we've got it right there. I'm going to hit load. And now I have it on this pad because that's the one I chose to put it on. All right, now you could have also done that with the quick load button here. Now I go to my content and it's right there, the space rock. And you could just drag it to whatever tab you want. Okay, so it's right here also. Now what you want to do there after that is uh, you can go ahead and edit the bounds. You know. And then if you want to uh, make another slice, all you have to do is go down here to the, um, the, to the live, actually it's the button down here that has the 16 on it, the little icon, is because you have your 16 pads, it's the button, uh, live modes it looks like it's called. But if you go to the second page down here, we have your copy and paste. So you can copy it, select it, copy it, and then paste it right there. So now you have it there and it starts at the same slice point. And then you can go back to your, your sample tab, edit bounds again. And then if you want, you can, you know, look for another slice point that you want. Okay, so now these both have different slice points. So there you go, you can continue to do that. And uh, with a song like this being as long as it is, it might be a better idea to just go ahead and chop it. Go to open sample, space rock. And here you go, you can go ahead and auto chop it. So now you have uh, 
Discard it. That's also another way you can import uh, an iPad or import from your iPod is go ahead and uh, go to their preset button here, hit chop. You have iPod import uh, option there, same interface. Go ahead and select your song that you want the same way and uh, you'll be good to go. Import song, save. But when you do it like this, it goes straight to your chop lab, so you can go ahead and start slicing it. I don't have enough memory because uh, I already have it, the other uh, other one loaded. But that's basically it. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, that's how you sample from iTunes yeah, using Beatmaker 2. Um, go ahead and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again next time. Peace.